Hello and welcome to Math Class Online with Teacher Jeremy. This week we're learning all about 3D shapes. So here are some 3D shapes. Do you know what these shapes are called? The first one, it's not a circle, it is a sphere. That's right. And the second one, do you know what it's called? It is a cube. What about the third one? Do you know what that is called? A cylinder. Can you say cylinder? This one down here on the left, do you know what it's called? It is a pyramid. And the last one, it starts with a k. It is a cone. Okay, let's see if you can name the 3D shapes that are in these pictures. This first one is an ice cream cone. Good. The next one is a toy. It is called a Rubik's or a magic cube. And the third one, it is called, yes, it's a football, but the shape is a sphere. That one is a sphere. What about these ones? Maybe you like to play Minecraft and you've seen this one over here before. Do you know what it's called? It is a pyramid. And these ones over here, they are called cylinders. Okay, now 3D shapes are made out of different 2D shapes. So these are shapes, you know, like circle and rectangle and triangle. What I want you to do next is think about what 2D shapes you can see in these 3D shapes. Okay, do you remember what this one is called? This is a cylinder, right, okay? And what is the cylinder made out of? Do you see any 2D shapes in this? What are these shapes over here called? Right. A cylinder is made out of circles and rectangles. Do you remember what this one is called? Right. This is a pyramid. Can you see any 2D shapes in this that you recognize? The pyramid is made out of triangles and a square. Now, sometimes pyramids don't have a square. Sometimes they have something else, but this one has a square. What about this one? Do you remember what this one is called? Right, it's called a sphere. And it's only made out of one shape, a circle. What about this one? Do you know what this one is called? Do you remember? Right, this is a cube. And do you see what shapes it's made out of? A cube is made out of one, two, three, four, five, 
six squares. What is this one called again? Can you remember what it's called? That's right, it's a cone. And what shapes is the cone made out of? Well, cone is made out of a circle and this one is called a wedge. It's not a triangle because it has a rounded bottom. It's called a wedge like a piece of cheese. Okay, now in the next part, we are going to learn how to draw 3D shapes. You can try doing it on the computer or on paper. The first one we are going to try drawing is a cube. Maybe you've drawn a cube before, or maybe not. I will show you two different ways to draw it. The first way, we start out by drawing a square. And then you draw some legs on the square, and we call those table legs. And then we connect the table legs together with a line here and a line down there. Okay, here's another way to draw a cube. We'll call this method two. Okay, so first thing you draw a square. And then you draw another square on top. So the corners of the two squares should overlap like this. Then you connect the two squares together. So you draw a line, two lines on the top and two lines on the bottom to connect them together. And the last step is to color. I also want to show you how to draw a pyramid. Okay, so for a pyramid, you start out by drawing a triangle. Then you're going to draw another triangle at the back. But be careful with this line, the bottom of your second triangle. You don't go straight across like this. You have to go up a little bit like this. And then you connect it to the other triangle. Okay? So now you have two triangles. Then you draw the bottom of the pyramid. So you start by drawing one dotted line up here. That means you can't really see it, but it's there. It's a hidden line, okay? So you start by drawing one here, and then you draw another one across here. And step number four, we are going to draw the back side of the pyramid. So you start out back here at the corner and dot dot, 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 draw a line up to the top like that. And when you're finished, it should look like something like this. And you can color it and make it beautiful. Okay, extra challenge. What I want you to do for homework this week is I want you to look at this triangle at this big triangle and see if you can count how many little triangles are inside. So, how many triangles can you see in the picture? Okay, it's not easy, it's kind of tricky, but it's fun. Okay, so count how many triangles there are in the picture and then post your answer in the comments. You can post in the comments on Facebook or on YouTube. And I will tell you in a few days which one is correct. 
Okay, guys, that's all for this week. I will see you later. Goodbye.